welcome. Uh, this demo from the NACE free out webinars. I'm Anna Malikian and I help coaches and consultants to get more clients online with ease and joy. And today I will demo how to create a whiteboard for your online presentations. This is a very neat trick that I found out and really allow us to have a, a loads of interaction in our presentations. And um, I'm going to show how easy it is first, and then I'm going to explain step by step as you can do it yourself. So from uh, if I was doing a presentation that I need to use a whiteboard, I just need to check a couple of things here in my system. If I have several networks, usually people only have one. I have the main network and then a guest network. So we have to be in the same network, me, the, my computer and my iPad. So there are two hardware pieces that we need to have a computer. Can be a Mac or can be a PC, works in both. And we have to have an iPad that also works with the, uh, the i also works with the iPhone, but I find much more easy to do this with iPad. And both of them have to be in the same wireless network. Then the other thing that we need is this a small app called the Reflector that I'm going to start here. I'm going to start here the Reflector. And this is the app that is the secret because what this does, this app, once we have our iPad and the computer in the same network, it allows us to uh, show what we have in our iPad in our screen. And I'm going to show you how. So in a moment, if everything works, you are going to start to see iPad here. So here it is. So you see here, this is my iPad that what I did is going where you listen to music. So let me go back here now that you can see. So if I have the iPad in the regular home mode, if I click twice, uh, if I click twice here in the home button, I get the, the, the apps that I have open and uh, uh, down. And uh, uh, if I scroll them, I get to this one that allows us to listen to the music. And once we have the wireless on, this symbol here, there is, oops, I have to go again up. I have to go back there. This symbol in blue appears. And if I click there, I have to choose my computer. And then I have to turn mirroring on that allows us to see things here using this app that is called Reflector. And once I have this done, it's very easy. I just have to start an app here. And I, I like this one that is called Jot to create a whiteboard. So this is an example of something that I did to explain to a group in the other day that I can create a new one from scratch here. I can decide which type of line, if I want the thin line, the color. So now I choose a black thin line here and I can draw whatever I need to draw and I can delete it very easily. So if I was explaining something that in a group that uh, I need to, that a visual representation will be helpful, uh, I could start, for instance, explaining the sales cycle in the Book Yourself Solid system. So I could draw a line. Mm, I have to choose a line and a color. And now I could draw a line. And I could say that this, uh, we see in the Book Yourself Solid system, instead of using the classic funnel, that has the image of pushing things down, or I we prefer to speak of a circle, a cycle that allows people to enter in different phases, and we will have at least uh, three phases. That is no barrier, low barrier, and high barrier. 
two and three. So, and then I could explain what each of these concepts mean. And I can use color if I want. So now I could say, okay, now let's speak about, let me put a little bit thicker line. Now let me speak about this first phase of the no barrier to entry, the freebies and how people to sign up for our list. And I could focus on this one and I can use as many colors as the app has. So it's very easy. And of course, the, the quality of the design, depending of your art, <laughs> of your skills, that is the closer thing that I found that we can create that whiteboard experience in the online uh, call. So let me explain you how you can do this. You need very simple to have your iPad or iPhone that I don't uh, is essential. If you have one of that, that you can make this work. And then you have to buy on your iPad or iPhone. You they have. Let me just take this out of the view now. You have to buy this app called. This is one of my favorites. There are any app that allows you to draw will do the same effect. I found this one very easier to use for a whiteboard. It's called Jot, the iPad whiteboard, and also works for the iPhone. Uh, and I will put all these links for these apps under the video. So um, there is a free version. The pay version is less than $5. And I really recommend this small app for this and just to draw things and to record things like uh, a path is really very, very nice. So that is the first thing to have the Jot whiteboard by Tabula Rasa. Um, you can see, let me see if I can show you here. Uh, the if you want to buy it will ask you to go to the iTunes stores let's see if I can show you here uh, without open the iTunes just in the SEC here see the pay version they have a free version but the pay version like most apps is very reasonable so I'm going to say cancel I don't want to open the iTunes now so that is the first thing you have to have an iPad iPhone and an app that allows you to draw I recommend Jot the whiteboard from Tabula Rasa and then you have to have a computer. The computer can be a Mac or PC and you have to have a app that is called the reflector that I'm going to put the link here if I have here copied the link. So let's see. I'm just going to show you the web page of this app that you have to install in your computer. So it's called Reflector App, works for Mac and PC and allows to reflect whatever you have in the screen of your iPhone and your iPad in the screen of your computer. And is very reasonable price, I think is under $30 or even less. So is a single user is $13. So very reasonable price. So you need the, the to have this reflector app. And again, the link will be under the video. So and this allows you to reflect what you have in your iPad, in your screen. And then of course, if you are in a call in a webinar, you have to have a way of sharing your screen to the participants. Like I do in this call, I use um, very simply, I use the join.me. Uh, you could use something like go to webinar, go to meeting or other, any other app that allows you to share the screen with the participants will work. I love join.me. Uh, you have the free version, you have very affordable to pay the annual fees less than $150 to be able to customize your URL and they have access to the pro version, much more accessible than the go to webinar and works very, very well, very simple to use. So I use the screen sharing like join me to share the screen. And then with the reflector, I have reflect here what I have in my iPad. And then, of course, if you want to record all these to share afterwards, 
you can use something like the for a Mac, I really recommend using something like ScreenFlow. It's my favorite uh, screen capture for Mac is ScreenFlow. And if you have a PC, the one that people recommend more is Camtasia. They also have a Mac version, but uh, I find that the screen flow is easier to use. And But for PC, everybody raves about the Camtasia Studio to screen capture and very easy to edit the things afterwards. It's really easy to do. So this is what you need to be able to use a whiteboard. And I'm going to show you again how easy it is to create another document here and start from scratch to use a clipboard, a whiteboard in your presentation. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, and if you uh, like this demo, please come to the live calls. You can sign up for them by going to freehowtowebinar.com. That will take you to my website, the free how to webinars. You will have more information there and you can sign up to these calls there. And please spread the word around of these calls and these videos by sharing them. Thank you very much.